form in my paintings all the time. I did female forms for 10 years, and I was painting beautiful female forms with the landscape in the background, but the female form was the focus, and the landscape was very muted. So one day I said to myself, I'm gonna take the female, the female form out and see if I can paint what the backdrop really looks like. So since 1995, which is now, what, 12 years, I've been working on learning how to paint the sky, learning how to paint the landscape. How much do people really care about the landscape? I ask people about their favorite memories. I say, what is your favorite memory in the world? And almost invariably, they'll, they'll mention a landscape in conjunction with, oh, the sun was rising. Nature is integral to our experience of enjoyment and beauty and love and meaning on this planet. And yet somehow or another, people aren't integrating with it. Well, you know, I moved to the Canyon area about seven years ago, and there there's oaks and all different kinds of oaks, uh, valley oaks and canyon oaks especially. And I was drawn to them, of course, you know, oaks are very important to uh, the California native people. Uh, they're symbols of strength, longevity, honor, beauty, and they're also, the acorn is uh, an ancient masa for the people of the Californianos. And so I began painting them, and I tried to paint an oak at night in full moon. There's this beautiful blue light that casts itself over the landscape, and I was trying to capture that, and suddenly, the painting became electric. The light, the white and blue and gray light just sort of flashed the piece. I looked at it and I found that it began to describe the energy of the, of the oak themselves and what I'm trying to say about nature being alive and being a living being. So the electric oak was born and I began to change the colors on purpose to really explain what might be called, what some people have coined as the aura of the tree itself. The tree of life is central to many ceremonias in Mexico and in North America and in Sur America. The tree becomes a very important symbol. I think what's gonna happen for me as a painter is that I'm going to put the human form back in. I'm sure it'll come back in again, but it'll come back in when I'm more knowledgeable about what it takes to paint a cloud what it takes to paint a tree, and it is a lot more difficult to paint nature than it is to paint humanity, which I think is a, a metaphor for the complexity of what nature has to offer versus what humanity has to offer all by itself without nature.